Welcome to Ask Grandma Carol. Today we have a question from Maria, who wants to know more about lightning and thunder. We'll explore this today, but the most important thing to remember is when thunder roars, go indoors. Say it along with me. When thunder roars, go indoors. Long ago and far away, many people believed there was a god or goddess of thunder and lightning who used lightning bolts as a weapon or for punishment. Even Santa Claus got into the act with his reindeer Donner and Blitzen. Donner means thunder and Blitzen means lightning in the German language. A long time ago, an American inventor, Benjamin Franklin, studied lightning and thunder. Almost 300 years ago, he made a kite to which he attached a metal key. He tried flying it during a thunderstorm and got a shock when the kite was hit by a lightning bolt. Franklin concluded lightning is a natural electric discharge. But people did not want to believe in science. They wanted to believe lightning was an expression of God's anger. It was not until almost 200 years later that people started to take Franklin's findings seriously. So just where does lightning and thunder really come from? It comes from tall, dark, puffy thunderclouds that have little particles of ice and water inside them. These particles rapidly bump into each other to produce a bright, jagged flash of light that we call lightning. Thunder is the sound made by lightning. Both happen during a thunderstorm. Lightning bolts contain millions of volts of electricity. How hot are they? About 36,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 100 times hotter than your kitchen stove when a cake is baking. When lightning strikes the ground, it seeks out the shortest route to something with a positive charge. This could be anything from a tree to a building. Today, we install ground rods in buildings to protect people from lightning. These rods conduct electricity and allow it to flow to ground, taking the danger away from you. The fear of thunder and lightning is called astrophobia, but you don't have to be afraid of lightning if you know what to do when you hear thunder. Listen to your parents who know what weather to watch out for. And remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Do you have a question for Grandma Carol? Email me at askgrandmacarol at yahoo.com. Yours might be one of the questions I answer on the show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell to be notified when new Ask Grandma Carol videos come out. I'm so glad you're here.